美国总统拜登九月二号表示，有啲迹象表明通货膨胀可能正喺度缓解。佢喺回应劳工部报告嘅时候表示，上个月就业岗位增加咗三十一点五万个。拜登喺白宫嘅一次活动入边讲，佢唔想喺通胀问题上边过度承诺，但系佢对就业同埋工资嘅上升轨迹表示赞赏。We got that. We、uh, got data that showed that manufacturing orders were up, but cost increases in supply chain items were beginning to ease. The week before that, we got data showing that price increase may be beginning to ease as well. The bottom line is jobs are up, wages are up, people are back to work, and we're seeing some signs that inflation may be, may be, I'm not overpromising, may be beginning to ease. Couple that with the fact that gas prices have now fallen 80 straight days, the fastest decline in over a decade, and the price at the pump is now a dollar twenty a gallon less than it was the beginning of the summer. We received more good news. In August, the economy created 315,000 new jobs. The Great American Jobs Machine continues its comeback. America workers are back to work, earning more, manufacturing more, building an economy from the bottom up and the middle out. But with today's news, we have now created nearly 10 million new jobs since I took office. Nearly 10 million jobs, the fastest growth in all of American history. 美国雇主八月份就业嘅人数超过预期，但工资温和增长，同埋失业率升至百分之三点七。表示劳动力市场开始放松，呢、这个令人谨慎乐观咁样认为，美联储可能会喺不引发衰退嘅情况下，令到经济放缓。劳工部九月二号公布嘅备受关注嘅就业报告亦都显示，六月同埋七月新增嘅就业人口较最初预估减少十万点七人。该报告未能决定性咁样解决，美联储将喺本月政策会议上边第三次升息七十五个基点，定系零点五个基点嘅争论。近八十万人进入劳动市场，使劳动力规模达到历史新高，失业率升至六月以嚟高点。劳动力市场仍然强劲，突出尽管二零二二年上半年国内生产总值 GDP 出现收缩，但经济仍具有韧性。